Hi YouTube, I'm back better than ever. I was gonna start this video with like a life update because I haven't talked to you guys in like two, three months at this point. And I was sitting here and I was thinking about it and I was like, wow, absolutely nothing has happened. You have missed literally nothing. The last time I spoke with y'all was through <laughs> like a, uh, what are they called? YouTube short. And I had said in the caption of that, that my next video was going to be a what I eat in a day, like a full day of eating type of video. And then I very quickly realized that I don't think that's the type of video for me. I don't think I will ever be able to film one of those. And here's just like a little insight as to why. And you'll see this later in this video because we're gonna be meal prepping a little bit together. So you'll kind of get a gist for like how I meal prep. I make like big batches of protein, big batches of carbs. And then instead of making like a beautiful plate with like steak and potatoes and veggies and making it beautiful, Instead, I typically just like waltz out of my bedroom at like midnight and I open up my steak container and I just like hold a steak and just rip a bite, put it back, and then I'll like go grab some cereal. I might like just scoop it up with my hands and then I'll eat that. Like I eat like a toddler. So I feel like that's very hard to show on YouTube. And like of course I could, but like it's kind of gross. <laughs> So instead of doing a full day of eating, I thought it'd be fun to take you guys to the grocery store with me today and then kind of show you what typical meal prep slash cooking with me is like. I don't know if literally anyone cares about this and if you don't, I'm sorry. And if you still want a full day of eating, even though I eat like a toddler that doesn't know how to make a plate, um, let me know because I, I could, I guess. <laughs> I'm also not really like a grocery list girly. Like I have a little mental list going on and I typically eat the same foods every single week. But since I don't actually write it down, the structure I try to follow is getting a lot of veggies, greens. I really love turning almost every meal I do have into a salad. There's just something like about, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it or what I was even gonna say. I'll just leave it at that. I love a good salad. So I like to start in that section of the grocery store. Then, and I'm explaining this because I don't feel comfortable filming in public yet, so you probably will not hear from me in the actual store, so we're just, we're prefacing things. Next, I move into the protein section. That's just kind of like the layout of my grocery store. I try to stick to like three different proteins when I'm grocery shopping for my week. That way you don't get like super bored of chicken or super bored of beef or whatever your preferences are. Then I move over to the carb sections. Same thing, I try to pick like two or three different carbs every week. That way not every meal feels and tastes the same. And then lastly, I end with the snacks. A necessity for me again I eat like a toddler I really love grazing I almost eat like a grazing animal instead of a human like I'd rather just like pick at things all day than sit down with like a big bowl of food if that makes sense so snacks are a necessity to me I could live off of them I don't okay I realize the importance of like whole natural foods but I love me some snacks that is all I got I will see you at the grocery store maybe possibly if I feel very uncomfortable um, you won't see me there I'll just see you back at home, I guess. <laughs> I'm having such bad acid reflux today too, and my appetite is like literally negative 5,000. Um, so this might not be a very normal grocery haul, okay? Because I usually go based on the vibes. And right now the vibe is I feel like I'm gonna vomit. This lady's looking at me and I'm really nervous. It also looks like everyone and their mother and their grandmother and their great aunt and all of their grandchildren um, is at HEB right now. So I'm not bringing my camera in. I will try to get phone footage of some kind, but no promises. Okay, welcome to... I'm so sorry you had to see that. Welcome to the grocery haul, I guess. I was just gonna kind of like go over everything I got, but I think I'd rather explain to you like how I plan on putting these things together and like how they usually work in my day-to-day -day or like week-to-week -week life. I don't even know where to start here. Okay, I think we'll go over like the protein and I'll kind of explain like how I plan on going about these. So starting off with chicken tenders, I don't know why I started getting these instead of chicken breasts. I feel like they're just honestly easier to prepare. They're also more expensive though, so like 
do what you want chicken is chicken my thought process is chicken stir fry with rice noodles is like my plan i have been so obsessed with rice noodles if you aren't on my instagram you've probably missed this phase in my life but i've literally been making this every single week if not every single night recently so rice noodles chicken that's also why i got some of these like pre-made stir fry veggies obviously again it's less expensive if i just like bought each of these vegetables on their own but sometimes you just gotta make your life easier i probably won't use all the chicken for that so i also plan on making some like very basic chicken and rice meals or even chicken with tortilla next up we got the turkey my plan here is to do turkey lettuce wraps with these big pieces of romaine lettuce um another staple essential i also plan on making rice for this as well i obviously didn't buy rice but i have this like huge container that i've been working on for months next up is steak growing up i never really ate beef because my mom doesn't so it's just one of those things that like oh my mom isn't doing it i'm not gonna do it so the first time i had steak was like a few years ago when i moved to texas and i went to texas roadhouse and i got steak with sweet potatoes and a caesar salad so now like in my brain for some reason that is like my favorite way to eat steak so that's what we're doing tonight is steak sweet potato i can't really have caesar dressing because they usually have gluten in them sometimes dairy depends what brand you get um but i'm gonna make a salad with it nonetheless and same thing with this as the chicken if i do have leftovers which i probably will i plan on making steak tacos as well what is next addressing the avocado i kind of just put that on like everything especially salads especially lettuce wraps who doesn't like a good avocado okay moving into the snacks probably my favorite category the backbone of my entire meal plan i'm one of those people where if i don't have snack options in the house i will go out and i will get something worse for me like if i'm craving candy but i happen to have like a sweet popcorn in the house i'll just grab that instead of going out of my way to go out of the house so i try to keep snacks on deck almost always so some staples we got the apple cinnamon rice cakes. I love the mini ones because again, they're just like easier to snack on. Sometimes I get the big ones. I think these taste better. Next up, skinny pop popcorn. Honestly, any like normal plain popcorn will do. I am obsessed with popcorn. I would forever be obsessed with popcorn. I feel like I have popcorn probably more than any other food group. On the nutritional pyramid, if there was one made for me, I'm pretty sure the whole entire pyramid would be popcorn and then like maybe protein at the top maybe which is why i got two different types um this is like a light kettle corn i honestly don't get this one quite as often but with my period coming up i tend to crave more like sugar and sweets so just again having this on deck is essential and then i got ice cream another one of those things i just rather have at home and then lastly this is something new to my life okay i was like always very anti-sparkling water for some reason i still am anti most sparkling water but the heb brand strawberry unsweetened sparkling water phenomenal it's one of those things that if you're like craving soda or just like craving something that isn't water it just like gives you that fix without being super high calorie and i think that's it that's just about everything again i say this will last me like a week's worth of groceries but if i'm being honest this will all be gone in like three days just being realistic with y'all okay so i still don't really have time to like fully cook and meal prep until later tonight but to make my life easier i have like 20 minutes to spare and i decided to prep my rice noodles so that when i make the stir fry later i can just add them in i feel like this video is gonna come across as though i'm like giving you a cooking tutorial or telling you what to do i really don't know what i'm doing okay i'm just sharing what i typically do i don't think i have great etiquette i think a chef would literally throw up at like some of the things i do so take this all with a grain of salt but just based on some research and messing up on my own, rice noodles can be very hard to boil correctly. If you put them into boiling water, they can overcook really easily. And when you overcook rice noodles, they become like really sticky and mushy and they start like forming like one ball of rice noodle instead of being separate noodles. So what I'm doing right now is boiling a big pot of water. Once it hits boiling level, I'm gonna add these noodles in and then turn off the stove so that they stop boiling and let them just sit in the really hot water for like maybe eight minutes max. And I'll be continuously stirring while I do so. So that's how I cook these. I 
I basically just cubed up my chicken, added some basic seasoning, nothing fancy. And now that it's fully cooked, I'm gonna separate this. So about like half of the chicken, maybe even like three fourths of the chicken, I'm just gonna put in a separate container. That way throughout the week, I can just add chicken to my salads, to rice, to tacos, whatever I feel like having that day. It's just like good to have protein on hand. I used to be that person, especially because I was a competitive bodybuilder, that I would eat like literally my body weight in protein. And I've just realized over the past like year or two, my body just digests a lot better like most people do when your whole entire diet isn't only protein. So yes, I still obviously prioritize protein every meal. I still shoot for at minimum like 120 grams of protein per day, but I'm not like absolutely pushing it, killing myself over it like I used to and I have noticed my stomach having a much better reaction to food. Okay, this is about how much chicken I'm leaving in the pot. I'm just gonna turn the heat back on to like medium-ish. I already steamed my vegetables like in bag in the microwave, but now I'm gonna add them to this and let these two just kind of like saute to get some more flavor on them to make the veggies a little crispy. I don't know why, but I like absolutely hate when my vegetables are like mushy. It just feels like baby food. Okay, I'm gonna give a light spray of oil, garlic powder, and this Dano's seasoning, and then some of this gluten-free teriyaki sauce. If this bottle was full, I would honestly use like almost half of it, but I only have a little bit left. I kind of messed up earlier. That sauce I showed you guys is actually the wrong one. I'm gonna put my favorite one on the screen right now. I didn't even realize, but I already had a full other bottle of that other one, and it is just like, not for me. Each to their own, just not for me. I'm just gonna give it a good stir, and then honestly, just leave it alone and let it sit for a minute. Anyway, this is the amount of noodles I made earlier when I was showing you guys. That whole box makes this very large quantity. I'm just gonna dump this on top. Typically, if I had the right sauce, I would just drizzle that on top and kind of mix it all in, incorporate it just on like low heat. But since I did not buy the right sauce and I don't wanna ruin my meal, I'm just gonna leave this plain for right now and then I'm gonna go pick up the correct sauce tomorrow. I wasn't gonna have this meal tonight anyway. That's the purpose of meal prep. So I'll make sure I go get it so that my noodles aren't sad and lifeless. I'm just gonna dump this on top and stir. Again, remember, these are so easy to overcook, so just like keeping it on really low heat and incorporating, not letting it sit too long in the pan. Okay, next up is the ground turkey. Same exact thing as the chicken. I'm just kind of adding this to a pan. Adding some olive oil spray and seasoning. For this, I'm just gonna do garlic powder, seasoning salt, a little bit of this like kicking chicken seasoning and then I'm gonna douse it in hot sauce. Since this is mostly for the lettuce wraps, I feel like sometimes those can come across really plain. So I like it to be a little spicy to like, to do something for me, okay? I love me some lettuce, but like I also can't argue that it's just crunchy water, you know? I used to be the type of person that would meal prep and make like individual containers that like, we're perfectly measured out, portioned out, etc. And I still think that's amazing. I just like haven't been doing that for the last two years since my last prep. And I found that this system works really well for me because in the past, if I did have like a pre-portioned meal, of course I was like following specific calories, certain macros. I would always end up cracking open another meal just to add a little bit more veggies or a little bit more protein or whatever it was to the meal that I was eating. And I realized that like a better system for me personally, and if you're similar, maybe you can try this out, is I'd rather just have like a big container of protein, a big container of carb, a big container of veggies. That way when it is time to like actually eat a meal, because I promise not all of my meals are like girl dinner-esque with my mismatching, then I can grab however much I want, however much I'm feeling, and it is still pre-made, so it's still making the thought process and the physical process a lot simpler. I just don't feel the need to measure out my food anymore, which is a blessing considering my past would be ED. Okay, last thing we have is the steak. In true steak lover fashion, all I'm gonna add is some garlic powder, pepper, and sea salt. I'm 
I'm just cooking these for like two minutes each side to really sear them. And then I'm gonna turn the heat to low, cover up the pan and let them sit for another five to 10 minutes. Okay, so this is everything I made and I swear I got home, I am not exaggerating, 45 minutes ago. All of this took 45 minutes or even less if you're a multitasker and could do two of the proteins at once. So we have the stir fry with rice noodles, veggies, and chicken, ground turkey, chicken, rice, which I made off camera. I'm sorry for not showing you. I just had it in the rice cooker while I was cooking the rest of this. And then our steak over here. So obviously this is not everything I'm eating for the entire week. That would be quite minimal of me. I did notice that the most time consuming part of making my meals is cooking the protein. So if this just saves me time throughout my week, it just gives you that like extra incentive to eat the healthy meal. When you get home after a long day at work, the last thing you wanna do is spend like 20, 30 minutes cooking up your last meal of the day. If the protein's already made, it literally makes it so much faster and simpler for the rest of my week. Just as an example, like the steak I'm gonna be having tonight, it's already made. I just have to heat this up. It takes me literally eight minutes to steam my sweet potatoes in my microwave and then make a little side salad. That means everything's ready like within 10 minutes. I've just noticed doing it this way makes my life a lot easier. If you are someone and you rather have every single meal measured out perfect and that works for you, I am all for it. Like I was saying before, honestly, this will probably last me like four days if I were to guess. And that's because this is feeding both me and my boyfriend. I really enjoy cooking for both of us. I do think if it was just me, this would last me a week, maybe even more. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped. I really love cooking and I would love to do actual like cooking or baking with Kendall segments where we can try new recipes out together. But today I just wanted to show you guys some of my staples. Honestly, cooking this took way less time than I was expecting. So I think I'm gonna end up doing a little Q and A portion. So if you wanna stay and hang out, you're more than welcome. If you came for the meal prep, here it is. <laughs> okay, it's really pretty out. So I thought it'd be fun to like answer the questions outside tonight, kind of a vibe kind of chilling. I have been so low energy today, so I just want to like lightly apologize. If I seem like I'm not excited to be back because truly this is the happiest I've been in like literally the two months I haven't seen you in. I am so happy right now. I just feel like my energy levels are at negative five million. So if I'm not showing it, my bad. I also got a brand new camera and I bought it on Facebook Marketplace from a guy like in a Target parking lot at like 9 p.m. last night. So I'm still trying to figure out all the settings. So if the audio is weird or anything, I promise it'll be fixed by the next one, which will be next week. Hold me to it. I feel like I kind of have a problem when I do start filming where I just get so excited and like I literally want to post every single day. Like if I could, I would, but I also know that I do need to limit myself because when I go balls to the wall, I get burnt out. I haven't even looked at these questions yet, so we're gonna be going through them together. What's your height? I always lie and say I'm 5'7 because I feel like that's just um, easier. I feel like I'm 5'7. I feel taller than 5'6, so I'm definitely like 5, 6, and 3 quarters, maybe. What rep range has best worked for you to grow your legs? Help a sister out. For sure. Um, I feel like it depends on the exercise. When I'm doing heavier compounds, I love like a 6 to 8 rep range. I feel like some people, women especially, we get a little nervous about going lower rep range because we're taught that that's going to make us bulky. But in reality, if you're trying to grow your legs, pushing to that point, going heavy enough where you can't go more than six reps is sometimes necessary. Everything else, like leg extension, sissy squat, like anywhere else where I'm going a little bit lighter, like not a squat, not a leg press, I tend to stick more to like eight to 12. I still sometimes get down in that eight range, but usually not down to six. Some of these are just nasty. We just did a podcast episode where we read our gross and or weird and or cringy DMs and it was so much fun to make. I'm gonna link that episode. Oh shoot, it won't be out yet. That episode is coming out either Monday or Wednesday, I can't remember, but either way, it is so funny. Please go watch it. And if you guys want like a longer rendition here on YouTube of like all of the weird DMs, messages, questions I get asked, I'm happy to make it. What's your guilty pleasure meal? I am like a sushi and or poke girl through and through. That'll always be it. I also love pizza. Like you can't go wrong with pizza literally ever. I am gluten-free and dairy-free. 
and pizza still slaps. What's your go-to snack during prep to help with sweet cravings? Ooh, I've been watching Julia's videos recently where she's been making this like calorie macro friendly, what is it, like French toast. I'm gonna link that down below. Seems really worth making. I can't have it because of the bread, but I'm sure I could find like a gluten-free version. But for me personally, in prep, I got weird, okay? I was adding cinnamon and stevia to things that had no business needing st cinnamon and stevia in them, okay? I was putting cinnamon and stevia in my egg whites, in my oatmeal, in my coffee. Like literally everything I ate was cinnamon based. And honestly, at a certain point in prep where you really can't have any sort of sweets, that's all you can manage. And I remember it tasting so good too. If I had that now, I think I would literally throw up. But at the time, that shit slapped. I would say just like oatmeal as a whole, I feel like that was my saving grace. If you can have oatmeal in your first and or last meal of the day, I feel like it just like fought off that sweet tooth. I would add um, like zero sugar, maple syrup, cinnamon, stevia, um, oh, I forget the name, but there's this company that makes these, what is it? It's like cream of rice or oatmeal, and it literally tastes like brownie batter. I'm also going to link that down below. I also recommend, I like that I could spend an hour on this topic. I've never had one, but um, my boyfriend's brother lives with us, and he has one. He has a Ninja Creamy, and the things that thing make look amazing. It looks just like ice cream, but you can make it literally just from protein shakes. Um, so that too, I feel like just almost tricking your brain into feeling like you're having ice cream goes a long way. What camera did you get for vlogging? Um, so I was mentioning this is a brand new camera. This is the Sony EV10, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will correct myself on the screen later. Um, it's great. It's so nice. It is, I would say, on the more affordable side for vlogging for Sony cameras. Um, again, I bought this secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid like $550, um, which compared to like the camera I have for photography, which is over like two grand, I would say this is a great option. How long are you doing cardio for? Um, okay, I haven't seen you guys since I've been on my cardio journey. I actually started a mini cut like a month ago-ish um, and it's been going pretty well. I definitely feel my body getting leaner and more than anything I feel my heart health getting better. I am someone that gets like so winded, literally just like walking, just existing is exhausting. So I started implementing cardio back into my routine. I try to get on the cardio equipment every single time I'm in the gym and I work out five times a week. So typically I'm doing cardio five times a week. I don't really have a set routine. I kind of have the same approach to cardio that I do to meal prepping, which is kind of like, whatever is gonna make you actually do the thing is what you should do. So on days I feel like just walking, I'll walk on, on like six incline, 3.8 speed for like 30 minutes if I'm feeling it, sometimes 20 if I'm not feeling it. And on the days I have a little more energy or a little more motivation, I've been doing sprints where I do 45 second sprint, 45 second walk for like six to eight sprints, again, depending on how I'm feeling. Who do you look up to most in the fitness space? Um, obviously my best friends, Erica Skye and Julia Renee. I know I'm biased because they are my best friends, but truly those two are just so badass, so beautiful, so kind, so amazing, um, that they definitely motivate me the most. Also, physique-wise, I would say my biggest inspiration, like someone I would love to look like, um, is Bahar. I think she is stunning. I'm just gonna end it on that because I'm getting a notification right now on my camera that I have one minute left on my SD card before my camera turns off. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I honestly typically dread meal prepping just because I do feel like it takes so long even though it doesn't. Um, but you guys made it really fun and entertaining today so I might do another video like this my next time I meal prep and maybe show you guys some other options and alternatives. Also just thank you in general for being supportive and for sticking around in my inconsistency. Um, I got an overwhelming amount of DMs in my time away from YouTube asking when I was coming back and all of these positive affirmations and just know I don't take those things for granted and I am so thankful and I really do love you guys so much and I'm excited to be back and I will see you guys next Friday with another video. I love you and have a great rest of your day.